to improve the quality of services provided to clients, more lean methodology was rolled out and the industrialization process was strengthened. Capgemini is drawing on a network of partners, each a leader in its own right. Nowadays, uh, CIOs uh, have to face uh, two uh, important challenges. The first one is about innovation. So their company uh, is expecting uh, innovation. So they have heard about cloud, social media, uh, uh, big data. Uh, so they are expecting uh, innovation from the CIO. But to innovate, you know, you need to invest. You need to select the good product. Second challenge is about the legacy. Every day, it's getting more and more complex. So he has to uh, manage to simplify, to rationalize it, to modernize it. Capgemini has a specific way to address uh, those different challenges. Uh, what we propose to our customer is to start with quick wins. And quick wins are around the way they work, how they can do more for less. So it's all about operating model, organization, sourcing models. The second uh, topic is around rationalization, the IT portfolio itself, how to simplify, how to modernize it, how to rationalize it. It's more about mid-term actions. I would say that our answers, our approach, our solution, our services are the most performant to uh, find the right balance between quick wins and mid-term uh, actions. We selected, in fact, Capgemini as our preferred partner because of the best blend of service delivery, management attention, strategic fit, pricing, commitment. Another very important element was also the fit, in fact, between the Euroclear and the Capgemini teams in order to work together. That was really an important element in our evaluation. So Capgemini will be providing application development and maintenance services for Euroclear Bank, but also for the Target 2 securities project of ESES. We also selected Capgemini to provide an in fact, innovation service, which we feel is an important element into the relationship, as well as some training services. All channel experience is all about how organizations are going to have to rethink their business model to make life easier and better for the consumer. Let's take one of my favorite examples, a lady we met during our consumer research, Jenny. Jenny is a time-constrained mother of two. And you know what? She needs organizations to react and respond to the way she lives her life. And that means being able to offer products and services through a whole range of channels, whether on her smartphone, through tablets at home, through the TV, or whether through kiosks in store, and so on. It also means being able to then deliver those products or services perhaps through time slots. You know, she may want to pick up a particular product at a petrol station or a post office. It also means being able to personalize offers and services to Jenny so that she's not upset about a random or irrelevant email. So the whole concept of loyalty and retention and being able to make your organization uh, focus and be customer centric around someone like Jenny is what all channel experience is all about. Cloud is a lot more than a technology issue. It actually brings together all the technological advancements with the business delivery models and the commercial models of the consumer world, which makes it easy for services to be launched and uh, adapted for uh, business purposes. Cloud services can really help organizations, uh, business organizations, government organizations, and uh, uh, non-government organizations in acting and reacting to achieve their business uh, uh, objectives pretty quickly and with great agility. It means that we do not have to look at transformation as long and expensive projects with a lot of risk, but you can start uh, realizing business benefits as soon as you require them. By simplifying and hiding the complexity of uh, the traditional IT organization, Cloud enables the CEOs, the CMOs, and the CFOs to focus on the business outcomes that could be achieved from uh, uh, the use of cloud services and define the agenda. And these need to be brought together in an easy to use manner. And that is what is the message behind uh, Capgemini's Simply Business Cloud.
client satisfaction and productivity management is an entire part of continuous lean uh, management. We have developed uh, together with Capgemini uh, a four-step approach to integrate our lean practices. First of all, uh, Capgemini associates were fully trained in lean uh, practices. Secondly, we did a comparison between our lean practices and the practices uh, of uh, Capgemini. Happily enough, we noticed that uh, there were not many differences. Um, thirdly, we had specific implementation plan for a joint integrated uh, lean uh, practice. Fourthly, and uh, perhaps most importantly, management on a day-to-day -day basis stimulates the uh, continuous improvement plans that are entirely part of the lean uh, approach. The role of our partners at Capgemini um, have been absolutely critical in the past few years. I think we've been um, making a difference not only on the content and the solution we're creating, but we've made a difference in the way in how we are partnering with our partners. Since the past three years, we've been really, really innovating, increasing the level of innovation with our partners, really creating joint innovative solutions uh, linked, of course, to our portfolio at Capgemini, linked to our sectors, linked to our TLIs, and, and of course, you know, linked to our SBU and BU priorities. We've done tremendous progress about creating these very specific solutions we are, we are calling partner growth initiatives that are making a real difference with our clients in the field. People matter. Results count.